Hello, Vijay Tomlin here. Today I would like to show you selective adjustment tools uh, in Lightroom 5. With these tools you can uh, make selective adjustments to your image. That is to change just parts of it instead of uh, changing whole image. Uh, for instance, uh, what I mean is that when you track, for example, exposure slider, you change whole image. But there might be parts that you would like to preserve. For instance, in this image I would like uh, just lower part to be brighter and sky to be uh, at the current exposure. Selective adjustment tools allow to, exact, uh, to do exactly that. Of course you could use Photoshop, but as Photoshop is much, complex, much more complex uh, and also it takes more time, uh, to edit photos in Photoshop. It's great that we now have some features to do it directly in Lightroom. It simplifies workflow, workflow a lot. Okay, uh, so there are three types of selective adjustments you can do in Lightroom. First is gradual uh, filter, uh, second is adjustment brush, and the third one is radial filter which was introduced in Lightroom 5. I will start with the uh, most intuitive one, uh, that is gradual filter. To edit, uh, you can click here or press M key. Graduated filter. As I said, I would like uh, just uh, lower part uh, to be brighter, because now it's it's quite dark and underexposed compared to the, uh, to the sky. So what I will do is to draw a filter. If you're uh, familiar with Camera Raw, Adobe Camera Raw, you already know what how to do that. If not, you start uh, by clicking and then hold your mouse, left mouse key, and drag the filter. Uh, you can uh, press Shift key to make sure that. Uh, the filter won't rotate. Without it, it will rotate. But when you press it, it's straight. Okay, so let's do something like this for now. Uh, and let's drag exposure a little bit. Okay. Let's close the filter for now. You see, it's it's much better. The, the lower part, the city is much brighter now. Uh, the photo looks uh, correctly exposed to me. You can also, uh, okay, toggle uh, toggle the filter to to see oops, how it uh, would uh, look without it. The photo is much darker. Uh, but gradual density filters and any adjustment filters uh, tools in uh, Lightroom are not limited to adjusting exposure, as you see uh, from the numerous sliders here. For instance, you can change uh, white balance, contrast, you can restore highlights, uh, shadows, you can increase or decrease clarity, increase decrease saturation, change sharpness, noise, uh, and there are a few more tools which I don't use. Oh, you can do fringe, for instance. Uh, so let's draw yet another filter, uh, this time for the sky. And let's change white balance to more uh, purplish one. So the sky looks uh, more purplish and maybe in increase uh, temperature a little bit. Okay. You can also increase clarity uh, to, to make the clouds pop. And contrast for the same reason. Okay. Um, let's close the filter. Uh, okay, and let's see how it looked before. Quite a difference. Uh, okay. Now let's uh, select uh, these filters and remove them by clicking on the delete key on your keyboard. Uh, now I will show you another uh, selective adjustment tool, which is adjustment brush. To select it, you can click here on this icon or press key button on your keyboard. 
uh, this filter is more like a layer mask in Photoshop. You draw with your uh, brush and the changes appear where you painted them. Okay. Mm, for instance, okay, so uh, let's reset our tool. Okay, let's make the sky more blue. Uh, to this we will increase saturation. But we don't want to influence clouds nor the city itself. Uh, so there is nice checkbox, uh, which is called Automask. If you have it checked, the adjustment will be painted only over the areas that are similar to the middle of your brush. So let's increase saturation, maximum for now, so we will see the difference. Let's increase size a little bit. Okay. And let's paint. Sky becomes bluer, definitely. Let's increase decrease size maybe. And here, okay. Okay. Again, you can toggle the filter uh, on and off by clicking on this small icon here. Let's see. It was before and it's after. Well, the difference is huge, of course. Third. Uh, selective adjustment tool introduced in Lightroom 5, as I mentioned, is Radial Filter. Uh, to see how it works, I'll show you this image. Uh, and now this. It's the same image, but without Radial Filters applied. This and this. So what I will do is to apply radial filters as in the other image. To add radial filter you click on this icon or press shift plus M. Uh, I will start by drawing a large filter. Uh, you can increase size of it. Uh, and now I will make uh, changes to it. Uh, first thing to note is that normally uh, the changes will appear outside of the area you drawn. Uh, to change this and to make uh, adjustments inside this area, you need to press on this invert mask checkbox. Uh, now that exposure is minus 4, so it basically works as a vignette now. And a very strong darkening effect after pressing invert mask. Okay, so let's disable it for now. Uh, I will now make some adjustments uh, to make this image uh, resemble the other one. I reduced exposure a little bit, so there is small vignette. Uh, now I will increase contrast just slightly, let's say 24. Uh, decrease highlights. What I want to do is to make edges of this image a bit darker, so uh, the viewer will pay more attention to the middle of, uh, of this image, to the path, uh, and to its end. Now I decrease clarity because the image is quite sharp at the edges and I don't want that. I want to move focus to the middle as I said. Uh, and finally I will decrease saturation as color is also what attracts our attention. Okay. Uh, now I will add another uh, radial filter to this area so to make it brighter in this image. 
as you can see, it attracts our attention. I will draw another radial filter. This time I will invert mask to apply changes inside uh, area I drew. Okay, first reset saturation by double clicking on the slider. I will first increase exposure so it is brighter than the rest of the image. Then I will increase highlights. I will increase shadows to make them brighter too. I will increase saturation but just slightly. Okay. And that's all. I will maybe change shape of uh, this filter a little bit to affect smaller area. Okay. I will rotate it. And finally, I will apply yet another filter to the path. Okay, and first uh, I will reset saturation to zero by double clicking on it. Increase contrast a little bit. Ah, first invert mask. Okay, so, so the changes will be applied only inside our uh, selection. Then I will decrease highlights to restore some of the highlights uh, on the path because they are blown out at the moment. Not that much, okay. I will increase clarity. Okay, and finally increase sharpness. And uh, sharpness also attracts our attention. Okay, let's close the filter. Okay, so let's take a look at how this image looked before we apply our adjustments. You can uh, select the filter again and turn it off by clicking on this very icon. The difference is huge. I hope that, th that this tutorial showed you uh, that you can, at the moment, use Lightroom not only to manage your photos, but also to develop them, uh, to make selective adjustments, and therefore there is not always need to use Photoshop nowadays. For many photos I use this approach, uh, it's faster, it's simpler, and also it's a great fun. Thank you for watching, until next time!